Hi subscribers, it's me, Viv from Slidenerd here. In this video, I'm gonna further continue our discussion of XML DOM parsing example of an RSS feed from TechCrunch. So in the last video, if you guys remember, we were talking about how we can get the title out of the XML feed that we just processed. Here let's go further. Now I've written the code for getting the published date as well as the description because it's pretty much the same thing. Now what I want to do the next thing is first let me display all these things so that you guys can see them. So here I'll remove the log statements here. So now if you take a look at this you have all the things that are being printed out here in the log cat. That would include the title of a post, the published date, the description which contains all this, then the next title, date and the description for the next item and so on for all the 20 items that we have. Now the next thing that we need is the image URL so that we can display that image inside our app. So let's go back and take a look at how we can do that. Here if you see media thumbnail is what actually contains our image. Let's just search for this. Now the problem is we got two media thumbnails within each item tag that we have. Now this is a nice example of seeing what we need to do. So here if you take a look at the first URL it says TechCrunch images WordPress. Let's open the first image and try to find out what it has. So this image is over here. So let's just let me copy paste it open it in my browser here. So this is mm, okay a smaller image a width of 210 and something like that okay. Now let's open the other image and try to find out what the second image contains. So if I take this image, the other one, paste it here, it's a further smaller image. Now this is exactly what we would be wanting inside our app, a smaller image to conserve more memory and reduce the amount of downloads. So we are going to use the second media thumbnail tag and not the first one. If you go everywhere down here, even here the width is 150 for the second image the first image has a width of 210 so that's exactly what we need so going back to Eclipse now how do we do that let's take a look at that if current child dot get node name dot equals ignore case media thumbnail now what we need is if it, the tag is media thumbnail we need the value of its URL if you guys remember the URL is what contains this image uh, value over there so we are gonna use the attributes of this media thumbnail to get its value out so it's like saying current child dot get attributes now this is gonna give us a whole list of attributes so you can probably store that list somewhere in some node name map so we're gonna make a node named node map over here. So I'm gonna say named node map, and I'm gonna say media thumbnail attributes or something like that. So this is gonna go inside media thumbnail attributes over there. Now the next thing that we need to do is process the attributes inside of for loop. Now I know this sounds weird. We have only one attribute in our case, but then usually what you have is a for loop running over here that takes care of all the attributes so it's like int j equals to 0 j less than media thumbnail attributes don't get length j plus plus now within the for loop what we need to do is check if the current attribute okay there's a problem with a local variable j alright we already had i and j it's time to go for k so here I'll make it k over here so we are gonna check the name of the current attribute it's gonna be something we're gonna first get that current attribute so I'm gonna have another node defined over here saying node current attribute here equals to null so I can go here and I can say current attribute equals to media thumbnail attributes dot item at the position index which is given by k over here so the idea is there are several attributes here that is what usually happens and then you get each attribute inside your current attribute and then you check the value like saying if current attribute dot get node name dot equals ignore case the same way if that is URL then we need its value which means we are gonna log the value out here it's gonna be current attribute dot 
get text content now this is going to print the value of that URL that we are interested in now let's remove the other items for now let's just comment them out over here the description the published date and the title so at this point let's go and run this and take a look at what happens since there are two media thumbnails what's gonna happen is that this is gonna be printed two times so let's go further down here and run this app and just like I said there are two media thumbnail tags so first the image is printed for a width of 210 then the 151 again 210 150 and this goes on for 40 times inside our RSS feed log cat over here so what we need out of these is the second media thumbnail attribute now how do we do that well let's let's place a counter and let's try to take a look over before we work with the media thumbnail now you guys are looking at this mess over here and you're like okay man is there a better way of doing this well let's remove this code this all the for loop and everything that we did here we know exactly that there's just one attribute over there so let's try to get that attribute directly let's say current child dot get attributes now this is gonna give me the list of attributes but we already know that there's only one attribute at the zeroth position so we can directly say dot item at position zero now this is gonna be giving you the URL attribute that you have out of this you can directly get its node name by saying dot get node name or node text content if you want you can directly get the text content again so if you say get text content then it is like saying current child's attributes from the whole list of attributes give me the URL attribute give me the text content of the URL attribute so let's just log this out and take a look at if this works the same way so now when you run this take a look at this it gives you the same output that we earlier had with all those for loops and indexes but this is much cleaner won't you agree with that just get the attribute get the first attribute and get its value directly now this is possible because we know that there's just one attribute whose value we need otherwise this becomes very messy now I can remove the other unused variables above and that would save some amount of memory over there so let's go further and try to explore this second media thumbnail that we want now what I'm gonna do here is use a counter to get the second attribute exactly so in other words there's gonna be a counter defined over here it's gonna be something like int count equals to zero now every time a media thumbnail is found it's gonna increase the counter by saying count plus plus and every time we exit this for loop where we are done processing our single item I'm gonna reset the counter back to zero over here so now if you want you can just print the value of count and you can see what happens I'm gonna say count and just log this out here so let's run this and take a look at what happens now if you look at the output now take a look counter one two one two one two one two and you guys are like whoa what the hell is going on now let me explain what happened right here first I made the count equals to zero now this for loop works with one single item and all its children over there right wait a second this for loop works with all the items and their children so the count is zero outside the complete for loop so inside this whenever a media thumbnail tag is found the count is incremented by one but once we are done processing one item which happens in this for loop because here we say item children dot get length which means this is for one item so outside that we make the counter zero again so it's like going one here it finds the kind of media thumbnail second time it becomes two then it goes outside this for loop because one item is processed count becomes zero again ultimately it comes back then it becomes one then it becomes two and then it goes out and becomes zero again so this is the way things are working now what we want is the data to be stored only when the counter is one let's try that counter is two so if count equals equals two we will print the value of the media thumbnail over here so in, the, in other words we'll go and write the same code there so I've written the same thing for the current child get the list of attributes out of which I want the zeroth attribute which is called URL and I want the text content of the URL over here when the count equals to two let's see if this prints only those images which we are interested in so let's run this now BAM that works take a look at that all the images with the width 150 are the only ones that are coming up inside our list we have perfectly 
executed the second media thumbnail if you wanted the first one you could say count equals equals one and you could have done this now this little count trick works because mostly when you see an XML feed people don't use the same tag more than once within a given item tag however here they have done it inside TechCrunch and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to take up this particular RSS feed so that you guys can understand how to process a more complex feed like this here even if you see the category there are so many categories out here you could probably use the same kind of strategy to get say the second category out of all the other little categories or get the third one or something like that so in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to retrieve that data back inside our activity and how to start working with that data displayed inside a list view in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment box below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video